What's going on guys? This is King Tar Heel and welcome to Noob Chronicles as you see on the screen there. Uh, essentially this is a series where I will be playing an established game and uh, that I have never played before and uh, try to generally a competitive game and try to see how it goes. Uh, and You guys can laugh at me at how terrible I am. So the first one we're doing here is this is going to be StarCraft 2 and this is my first ever competitive game of StarCraft 2 against another player. I did play the campaign extensively. I did enjoy it and I did play StarCraft 1, and I did play the Frozen Throne and Warcraft 3 extensively multiplayer, but I've never played a competitive game of StarCraft. So here's my first uh, competitive game. I went in and fast forward through it because I don't want you guys to pick up any bad tips, as I'm pretty terrible. Uh, unfortunately, and fortunately for me in this case, my opponent is much, much worse. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, it's fast forwarding. Uh, I did make a couple of mistakes early on. I tried to scout and didn't realize that I was blocked in with... Uh, rocks uh, on the noob maps I guess that's uh, this this is actually a practice game uh, so next I went and my general goal here is to play basic strategy an all-purpose strategy expand and just out unit the people we'll worry about the tactical part later and the you know the high 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 level stuff uh, you know when we get further down the line right now my main thing is let's just out resource people let's expand as fast as we can especially once I realize that we had the block uh, the rocks there, and we get a little early warning system. I uh, went ahead and took that guy I was trying to scout with and to expand. So here, uh, I'm going Marines, Tanks, Medbacks as my general strategy uh, build. It was a build that I found online, uh, just an all-purpose build, so I don't really have to adapt to what race my opponent is right now. Um, I believe, you know, uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to make a quick push here. I think I pushed a little too late. I had a pretty good advantage, but I'm um, going to be too late. And my opponent is going to have some defenses set up. Uh, looks like my opponent is expanding. So here we got to you know, keep waiting and waiting and waiting to get the next... The next, uh, the next little marines, and then I'll go, and then the next ones come, and then I'll go, and then the next ones comes, and then I'll go, and then next thing you know, you know, I'm, I'm too far behind, and I miss my opportunity. Uh, here I go. Uh, I've taken. I'm going after my third expansion here. So again, expand. Resources are king at this level. Not really about micro. Or at least I hope it's not. And so right now I'm going up to three bases to two against my opponent, and I'm going to make my first push here. I've run right into his. Uh, defensive siege positions and the rocks are not not a, not a good situation but we're, uh, I figure we'll go ahead and get the rocks down make our little push here and continue I have no AA at this point so I have no anti-air but I see the expansion hey let's go ahead and this is actually going to be the key point of the game right here as I do make a push to destroy this expansion and I do get it down and this, this expansion right here is never rebuilt. Uh, my opponent never rebuilds it. He's at a complete disadvantage the rest of the game in, from an economic standpoint. Uh, I still make a bunch of mistakes. And the reason that this game is being played at such a high speed uh, from the... Not just, you know, that I'm having to play it at such a quick speed is essentially because it was an extremely long game. It was 50 minutes of noob StarCraft and I don't think anybody wants to watch that it was hard for me to watch through and edit uh, we but we'll give you the uh, compressed version for sure so here we go we're building up another barracks we've got our third expansion going here we're gonna build another barracks build another factory uh, our supply depots are good and we're just gonna go ahead and rebuild our army you see our opponent here is uh, getting up some defensive positions again. Uh, he's looks like he's going to turtle, and that's going to be his strategy, which of course is, from my experience in real-time strategy, competitively is a recipe for disaster. So economy is going strong. Again, right here, I'm just making my push. Again, I've got three bases going uh, extremely well right now, and we're just building up our units. He is also building up his units. And then we'll, I'll show you where I make the, the big mistake coming up momentarily. And 
here I am. I think I'm going to try. Yep, I'm going to get my fourth expansion here, so we can go four bases to two. As he did build a base on the left side uh, from where I'm sitting of the map, the nine o'clock spot. So I'm going to take the eleven o'clock base, and we're going to be up four bases to two. And as you can see, resource-wise, we're just—I mean, we're just light years ahead of him here. No, he's going to come in, try to harass, and this is this is the big mistake that I have right here. And I have no clue what sees cloaked units at this point. I am going through all the tool tips. I, I, I know the scanner. I'm um, you know, blowing my energy to get the to get the scanner, and I have no clue what. And actually, I think when I attack here, I was actually looking at the tool tips, uh, trying to see what I could build to counter the cloaking uh, air units that he has. I'm just I'm you know can't believe that that. Uh, I did that, but I, I just didn't know. So I, I went through all, all the tool tips. What could I build? What could I build? What could I build? And I didn't really see it. Uh, I ended up looking at the ravens, and they look like eyeballs. And I was like, okay, that must be it. Let's let's build a couple ravens. So I, I built a couple ravens, and luckily that was uh, what I needed. Uh, that's one of the units that I need. I'm, I'm not sure if there are others. So we got a couple ravens to go with our army here. That'll stop him, but he, he does some some harassing and I'm forced to use my scans to try to keep my fourth base uh, operational. He does actually get it down pretty low. He gets it on fire uh, but I was able to repair it. So same uh, same basic thing. Um, I have way too many resources. I should have built a third barracks. I should have built a third factory. Should have probably built another starport. Um, you know, there's a lot of things I should have done better in this situation that I just didn't do. I had way too many minerals, way too much gas uh, sitting around. So here, now I have ravens with me. Uh, the ravens essentially make this a, that he knows he has to run away at this point. He does get my base on fire. Uh, he comes back, keep trying to harass him. He's trying to kill this expansion. I'm able to get it uh, going, get it repaired by my S SVE. Oh, excuse me, SCVs. Able to get it repaired, able to get it up, able to keep the fourth expansion. We're still at 4 to 2. And again, as you see that base down there that we destroyed early in the game, he never rebuilt that base. Again, that was, you know, if we're at 4 to 3 and he can out micro me, maybe we're in a situation there because I'm not using the minerals that I'm gathering. I'm wasting them. I'm doing a very poor job of that. But in a 4 to 2 advantage uh, against a, a similar skill level opponent, someone who's playing in the practice league like I am. That's generally uh, a recipe for success on my end and for failure on his end. So he he goes straight defensive. Maybe he wins a lot of games this way by just people don't want to go through the hassle of beating his defenses. Again, this was a long game. It was almost 50 minutes. So maybe he gets a lot of a lot of quits. You know, he gets a lot of you know GGs and and people who quit when they just don't want to go through the hassle of the turtle. So here I'm making a push. I've got my ravens going. Uh, again, it's a it's a very poor push on my part. I've got a medvac fill, filled with marines just sitting up in the air. Uh, that medvac goes down. You you know you wasted all those marines. Just not good. But we are able to push forward. We're able to make some make some headway. I don't have any AA. Um, I, I got a raven. I can see the guy, but <laughs> we don't have any AA. So they're just packing away at my siege engines just terrible when you have when you have a med bag full of marines you could drop and uh, you can take out those cloaked units so, same same deal here uh, <laughs> just those you know I refuse to take those marines out and uh, try to kill the AA I think eventually I will realize it uh, at this point, it's just, it's kind of embarrassing to watch. <laughs> the, the full med bag is just sitting there. Finally, I'm like, okay, we, we have marines here. Let's start dropping these marines out. Right underneath the ravens, we kill, you know, we get our other pack of marines come. At this point, I've broken down his defenses, and uh, we're going to start wrapping it up. Um, 
the game on our on our end, and we go ahead and get the supply chain going. I think I'm just yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up his uh, main base, and then we'll go over to the other base. And this is, like I said, this is my first ever StarCraft game. I, I didn't think I would win my first ever StarCraft game. Uh, I was expecting to be a lot like Warcraft, where I would play the low-level arena in Warcraft and would still run up against people with, you know, full 1800 rating gear, 2000 rating gear, you know, people who were intentionally tanking and stuff like that, or people who was who were building up um, ranking and stuff. I'm not familiar with the ranking system in StarCraft. I will do a little bit of research on that, on how that works. Uh, but... To, I ended up getting pretty lucky playing against a guy who was turtling a little bit and a guy who, who made uh, as many mistakes as I did and I was able to capitalize them on a little bit. So again, nothing nothing groundbreaking here, but it was a pretty good, uh, I think, win for, for me. Uh, my very first try, I made a ton of mistakes, but I, I watched the video twice here doing this commentary and was able to you know see a lot of those mistakes. So hopefully in, in the next game, uh, if you guys want to watch it, uh, we'll go ahead and continue, and maybe we'll just show a little bit of improvement, a little bit of improvement, a little bit of improvement, and just keep it going. And that's pretty much all it's about, you know, in StarCraft, we're just trying to, you know, continue and try to get better with every game. That's that's really all, all I ask. It's a incredible game. I love it a lot. And uh, like I said, uh, to have my first, you know, to be 1-0, uh, I'm undefeated. Uh, it's nice to say that. It is the practice league, so I, I don't think that counts at all. Uh, and I'm sure uh, I will be humbled very, very, very shortly uh, if I keep playing like I did today. But I think that's it for uh, this, this game, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and like up the video. Leave some comments and some tips and some tricks uh, that you think I should try. Maybe some build orders that I should look up. Uh, if you definitely want to continue that uh, that'd be great subscribe uh, i do plan on doing these quite a bit and uh, sending them out there so that's that's it guys uh thanks thanks for watching take care